What's up, Ian here and this is my first impression, quick unboxing and graph measurements of this Moondrop Quox DSP. Now before I begin, I'd like to thank Hi-Fi Go for sending this to me and making this video possible. I appreciate it very much every single time. But guys, rest assured that whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video is not scripted and Hi-Fi Go will be watching this video together with you guys. So, Moondrop Quox. This is now retailing for 15 US dollars at the time of filming this video. So, unaffiliated links are in the description below. Please go check it out. So, as usual, I will open this up, uh, go through the specifications, the accessories, then I'll measure this um, with my measuring rig. And I'll listen to this for the very first time and let you guys know my sound impressions of it while listening to it. But please note that this is not my full review. After this video, I will listen to this for a longer period of time. And then I'll come up with another video at a later date. And also this video will be timestamped. So for those of you who wish to skip around, please feel free to do so. Okay, so let's first remove this plastic, right? Okay, so this is a very simple box with the three dots, uh, very typical of a uh, Moondrop Quox. So if you have the original Moondrop Quox, this is uh, a bit different. This one has got USB Type-C connection instead of, and it's built in, so it's not removable. And it's got DSP, all right? So, and it's got a frequency graph here at the back. It's a little bit difficult to see, uh, but let's just go through the um, specifications. Uh, the frequency response is from 4 to 43,000 Hertz. Okay, and uh, oh, that's free field. The frequency response is 20 to 20,000 Hertz. The sensitivity is 113. The impedance is 16 ohms. And that's about it. Okay, so the rest is in Chinese. I can't really read. So yeah, you got text in front. No picture of it though. Okay, you got everything here in front. Let me just remove everything oh it comes with a pouch for 15 bucks okay so um you've got all the write-up and we're qc check right and a pouch and let's see what's inside the pouch your tips okay so um these are the normal dome sh shape onion shape type of um ear tips okay they are not spring tips uh, but yeah, the, the inner core is pretty stiff and the outer flange is quite, well, medium softness. Okay, it's not very soft, not very hard. So yeah, so these are the ear tips that's being provided. It comes with the drawstring pouch. You can keep your quarks in there. Okay, and these are the quarks. So let's disconnect this here. So the cable is not detachable. All right. And the... USB-C port here is not detachable and the DSP chip is inside here, okay? We've got cable management strap here. Let's open this up. Okay, so microphone. So it does have a built-in microphone. Volume up, volume down. It doesn't, oh, so when you press it down, it does have a play pause. And the cable is, well, one core, single core with a white splitter right here with the Moondrop logo on it, okay? And that's about pretty pretty standard stuff, right? Pretty simple. And let's look at the, uh, this is, uh, this the earphone here is a bullet style, all right? And it's, uh, it's hanging, so it's, it's not over the ear. So it just goes into your ear like so. And then, um, yeah, it's like a bullet and it goes into your ear. So basically, right, it's got a six millimeter dynamic driver in here. If you can see, it's totally transparent. Okay, and then you've got a uh, tuning foam here and you've got a metal filter at the front. Okay, so a pretty simple setup. It's just that the, the difference here is that it's got a DSP chip in here. I'm not gonna open this up. If I open it up, it's gonna be broken. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out my measuring rig and see if I can measure this. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I brought out my measuring rig. And this is a little bit different because the Moondrop Quarks 
is USB-C connection. It doesn't have a 3.5. So I'm not connecting it directly to my sound card or my external sound card. So I'm connecting it directly to my MacBook Pro, okay, uh, which my MacBook Pro has got a USB-C connection. So I can, con I can use this as a separate output source and my USB sound card goes into my coupler. Okay, so I have an output and an input, all right? So um, two sides, the red and the black. So red is right, black is left. So let's put in, I've already calibrated everything. So let's put the um, left side into the coupler. Now let's go to the computer and let's measure this. All right, so that's the name of it, Moondrop Quarks. Now let's check the levels. Cool, 87 dB. So let's see how it graphs. Okay. And let's just go back to this part here. Oh, wow, very, this is, this is very unique, right? This graph is very unique. You cannot, you cannot have this type of tuning with just an analog, um, manually tuned, uh, driver. Okay. So let's go, uh, change out the uh, left side, uh, to the right side. So as you can see, this, the right side is red. So let's put it in. Let's make sure the, f the tips are in properly okay and let's see if the left and the right channel matches okay and let's go back to the computer and let's measure the right side and check the levels first all right 82 db i'm not too sure why but um let's see let's start Okay, but I'm um, well. Both channel matches, and you look at the channel matching is quite accurate. Um, well, this is being tuned in house. So, just just a, a quick note about DSP. So, what happens with DSP is that this has got their internal tuning. Uh, they have tuned this, or gave it some spatial audio, whatever uh, um, flavoring that they can add. Uh, to the earphones before they ship it out. So that's the purpose of this DSP chip and as you can see uh, This graph is very unique and you can't have this type of tuning with a normal um, Earphone right uh, with just a cable right so you need to have a chip inside So this is what the chip is is doing right this DSP chip Right, so let me uh, just tidy up this graph and then I'll, I'll be back, okay? Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I've tidied up the graph and I've added in the Harmon target curve. And looking at this, right, I can see that they, this is actually tuned, right? It's, it's uh, tuned in-house uh, before they ship it out. You can't achieve this kind of tuning uh, or this kind of frequency curve um, just by you know having the, the def default dynamic driver this is definitely tuned digitally okay and it's so close to the Harman target if you look at this part here this part this down curve this this actually reduces the shout the shoutiness the harshness of the treble um, this in improves the vocals and the instruments this here right here improves the impact and the, the sub bass is close to harmon and the rumble is close to harmon the impact is a little bit more than harmon which gives you a bit more involvement and more engaging type of uh, impact and sub uh, mid bass this part here gives a, a bit more forwardness to the vocals and instruments and this part here gives a bit more uh, less harshness and shoutiness to the treble and the gain is very harmonish 
look at the gain it's so close to Harman uh, the roll off and the brilliance in the air of the treble is quite natural as you can see so natural it's almost like someone did something to it okay now looking at the other graph okay so I tried to put a, a, a zero line here uh, but anyway this zero part here at 1k this is the zero line okay so just imagine that this is a neutralized Harman uh, target which is flat okay, so th this flat line here at zero uh, is is the Harman curve right so as you can see this is uh, a little bit warm all right the this this uh, moon drop quarks is a little bit warm a uh, bit of vocal and um, mid-centric right warm at the same time mid-centric and then it's a little bit darkish in terms of treble with this dip here and not much of an air uh, well a bit here okay and it's not it's not a very uh, airy or spacious uh, type of uh, tuning okay so this is what I can tell from this graph all right so let's take out my iPad and let's listen to this for the first time so be right back okay so I'm back and as you can see I brought up my iPad unfortunately I cannot use my quest style uh, USB-C dongle DAC amp because yeah the quarks is already DSP so I can connect this directly into my iPad and it's got all the tuning and whatever stuff that is already uh, encoded into the chip the DSP chip in here and that's what I'm gonna listen to okay so yep I've got my um, spin fit uh, CP145 ear tips and uh, my song which is enemy by imagine dragons okay so let's put this in the ear and let's uh, listen to the song for the first time this gives me a very deep insertion and wow okay mmm I would say it's quite intimidating in terms of the seal is seals up very tightly and I can hear myself talking so let's bring my mic a little bit further I don't want to be shouting okay so let's reduce this volume a little bit I think I don't I don't want to blast my ears initially all right so let's uh, start uh, listening to Imagine Dragons enemy let's go okay the impact is really prominent yeah the lead singer is forward sound separation is all right you got usually got the background um, electronic sounds that is going on at the back it doesn't seem very distinct but it's there the tone of this is very natural i i can hear is a natural tone it's not warm it's not neutral is natural sounding is engaging easy to listen to type of tuning the simple strikes and the hi-hats they are not sharp it's not a bright it's not very bright it's, it does have that sparkle that enough sparkle enough gain to the treble the airiness of it is not a very airy type of treble it rolls off very naturally is not unusual at all the rumble is good it's not a um, over excessively done type of treble you know when I listen to this quarks it sounds just like how the artist wants us to hear and how easy it is and how comfortable it is to listen to this tuning it's got a lot a lot of the impact so that that gives me that engagement uh, to this song and this part is where they he starts to rap the rap is quite forward I can hear that it did this this quark sounds very smooth vocals they sound very smooth very smooth sounding now in terms of soundstage I would say is quite an okay soundstage wide to the side not much to the height uh, a bit of depth as well but it's more wide to the sides overall listening on this is natural sounding you know is nothing to fault about in terms of this uh, the only thing is the 
technicalities. Uh, I find that the tuning on this is just nice. It's not too harsh, not not to the extremes. I find. Well, I would say, yeah. It's, well, let, let me just give you my summary. All right. So basically, this Moondrop Quarks DSP uh, has got a tuning that everyone will love, right? Any anyone who just puts this in your ear in the ear will enjoy listening to this, right? That's the kind of uh, tuning that it has. It's very close to Harmon, uh, and yeah, it's a, it's enjoyable type of tuning not overly done type of sub bass or mid bass uh, vocals are a little bit forward uh, as and instruments as well uh, the treble is not overly done in fact is uh, a very acceptable um, treble it's not harsh it's not uh, sibilant at all uh, and also the uh, roll off of the treble is very natural it doesn't have a ton of air to it it doesn't sound unnatural and yeah so but in terms of this mm, technicalities what i hear is that it's not a very technical set uh, i would say it's normal well sound separation imaging is okay it's above average it's not very good uh and uh but i mean it's acceptable right for 15 bucks i'm not expecting too much in terms of resolution and detail retrieval on this uh, they, they sound acceptable uh, yeah so this this is my very first uh, listen to this Moondrop Quarks as I mentioned this is not my full review um, I'll listen to this a little bit more and then I'll come up with another video all right so that's it for now guys I hope uh, you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Alright guys, I hope that you guys have a nice day ahead and I'll see you guys in the full review of this Moondrop Quarks DSP. Cheers.